Orchard, which is a supply hardware store, and I came to, for some fertilizer, but of course I'm going to be leading with some plants. And I'm going to go check out the seeds because I'm looking for a, um, a black, purple, cherry tomato. Picking up these two Italian parsley herbs that are 2 SoCal Garden. This is my vlog that I'm doing so sorry it's really bright today and it's overcast so the lighting may be weird. In continuation of this vlog I'm going to show you guys what I got from Orchard uh, Supply Hardware Store. Um, just really quickly these two Italian parsley plants and I got these because they were 75% off. You no, know, yes they don't look as healthy but I can give them some fertilizer and give them a haircut and they'll be very very healthy so um, just a little garden tip or garden hack for you if you are in your local garden center and they have plants on sale get them because you can revive these these are these are this is parsley it's already well established it's probably got a, a nice root system probably a little root bound that's why it looks a little sad but all it needs is a good water watering and it needs some good fertilizer and you're good to go these um, annual blue bachelor I'm gonna sow these today so yeah excited for that this uh how much is this 128 fluid ounces of fish fertilizer and it's that brand i've never tried this brand before i usually will put in a couple of tablespoons into my watering can i just eyeball it really there's no primer reason this is my favorite mug if i see anybody in my house using this i get mad <laughs> but I got this off of Amazon. I'll try to leave a link down below for you. There is one more thing that I got, but I'm gonna go real quick. And grab this it. next thing that I got in here in this box, I'm a little scared because the box is small. I did order some seedling trays off of Amazon, so let's go ahead, open up this box. This is gonna be a live unboxing. These are the seedling modules, and I really needed these so I can start keep continue to sew comes with five label markers and I'll try to leave the link down below for you guys if you want to order these and they're these really really small this will be perfect for beans peas tomatoes eggplants I would sow pretty much anything except for maybe squash into these the reason why I wouldn't sow squash into these is because once squash gets a certain size as a seedling it will grow really really quick so I would Instead of sewing in something like this for squash, I would maybe sew squash in a container like this so you don't have to fiddle with the root system as much while it's at a delicate stage. So I think I want to sew these bachelor buttons and then I will trim the parsley, new parsley pants I got, fertilize them, plant them, get them in a nice safe home, and then I need to hill the potatoes more. I need to harvest tomatoes off of a plant in the side garden. A couple other things. So yeah, let's just go ahead and continue on with this garden vlog.
water water fertilizer combination. I'm gonna wet that hole right there. Let it sink down. This area has a lot of clay in it. That's why it takes a long time. Fertilizer pellets you can use for flowers or for vegetables. Put that parsley. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to separate these baby fennel seedlings and I'm going to put them into their own module so they can continue to grow their root system. And you don't necessarily have to do this, but I really want these fennel to um, start growing faster. So that's why I'm going to be doing this process. So basically what you want to do is you want to, whatever container or module you're transferring them to, you want to make sure it's wet, so, see there's already a root system on there, and that's good, that's great, that's what you want. You have your seedling with a nice root system, I just make a hole, kind of guide the down there, and then cover it as much as you can because this is a um, fennel is it's a bulb so that's fine figured out a way that's kind of easier to instead of filling it with soil place the plant in there and then fill it I kind of just realized that was easy <laughs> so I'm going to continue doing that So these are the tomatoes that I need to harvest, and then after I, I harvest them, I'm going to see how the plant does, and if it survives, I won't take it out, I'll just leave it. A little harvest of tomatoes, and what I do is I just leave them on a table in the sun and I let them ripen. Hey you guys, I'm at my local Big Lots. Um, Big Lots is like a discount store, they carry garden things, and I'm here, and I got a lot of baskets and pots and I see a greenhouse. I'm actually looking for a greenhouse but this one's a little too big for my space. I need something smaller. So now I came down the street to my local Walmart and they have a whole thing of garden center stuff. They have indoor, outdoor, potty mix for $3.27. So this is the greenhouse that I'm going to be purchasing. It's $29. It's not the fanciest thing ever, but I think it'll get the job done. Um, I'm going to have to do some extra securing on it when I get it home, but I'll show you guys me assembling it later on. These are so cute. It's so hard not to just buy everything here. Alright so you guys, welcome back to the vlog. So I wanted to show you what I ended up picking up from the stores I was just showing in those clips before this. And instead of making this video a, a full like garden haul like I have been doing, I'm just it's only a couple of things, so I'm just gonna add it in here. So, the first thing I got from Big Lots is this cute mushroom. Isn't it so cute? 
and this was only eight dollars and I've seen these priced up for I don't know anywhere upwards to like forty fifty dollars and this is so cute I love it and then the next thing that I got some natural vermiculite because I can never have enough of this this is great especially since I'm gonna be after the 15th February 15th I can start a lot of my summer seeds so definitely gonna need that I got this 72 cell mini greenhouse seed starter so honestly I don't think I can never have enough of these I already went through over half of my seed cells that I got from Amazon that I showed you guys earlier and then for the coolest thing I got so this wasn't really like an investment it's just a new piece to add to my over there this area right here the sunny spot that gets pretty much sun all day and that is where I'll be putting my new greenhouse yes I got a greenhouse I'm officially a gardener <laughs> so this is a four-tier greenhouse 20 length is 27.2 inches by width is 19.3 inches and the height is 63 inches so it's not big you know I mean this might fall apart you know it might not fall apart but I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this on video so probably like a time lapse or something my dogs are fighting over there so yeah I'll just go ahead and start assembling this I want to find an area of the garden to put the mushroom heavy slabs underneath just to give it a bit of foundation and that'll also keep the greenhouse warmer I mean this is an awkward part of my backyard it's this is the angle it's at an angle as you can see that's why I have my beds at an angle so I think it looks good there for now once there's plants in it it'll look much better and then I'll give you guys a greenhouse tour and show you exactly what I am growing assembled and all. I think it looks good. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it's going to do its job and that is to create moisture and humidity for my summer crops and keep them nice and warm at night. So I didn't even realize this is how many seedlings I had because they were kind of all spread all over the place. I'll just show you guys. Cucumbers, onions, some flowers and this is great so the slugs will stay off of them because I noticed the slugs started to eat my things and the birds as well the birds will they might be too scared to try to fly in here potatoes are doing great what I did was I put six of these square stones down underneath it and then I had to put two extra so this and this because I was just afraid it was gonna get too heavy and fall forward so doing that it's it's not 
it's pretty much level because this side of the ground, if I planned this out properly, I would have leveled the ground, but ain't nobody got time for that. So use slabs when you don't have time. <laughs> and now the lavender bush is not crowded because the bees love it. I'm gonna give it a good water. And that, e that isn't even all the seeds I have. I have those and those are peppers. <laughs> okay, so now that I rearranged um, that area, that table and chairs was over there. So um, I'm thinking of putting a little extra sitting area over here. It's gonna take some time, but I'll arrange it and see what I come up with. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the new little sitting area that I did that cost me zero doll hairs. So all I used was just some um, extra slabs that we had and I just rearranged some furniture. Or a uh, garden patio furniture area. Yeah, I think it looks really cute. So it's gonna be it for this garden vlog. I have other chores to do, but this video ended up being so long. I'm gonna have to split it into like two separate garden vlogs for the week because I got some other good things in store. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this garden vlog. Please subscribe if you would like to. Give this video a thumbs up. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And if you have any comments or questions, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And happy gardening. Bye guys.